Musk. Welcome back to We Are Washington and welcome to the Embassy Chef Challenge. Embassy Chef Challenge, you really can only do an event like this in Washington, D.C., right? That's what's so great about this event is it really speaks to what a, a vibrant town D.C. is because we have 190 embassies here yeah. represented here at the Embassy Chef Challenge, about 19 different countries, top chefs from around the world, and we get the chance to taste the world one bite at a time. That's right, that's right. Now, they do their own judging here, but if you remember last year, we walked around and we scored our own winners, Yeah, right? we have our own system in place. We are also yeah. judging. All right, so we have a lot of different tables to get to, a lot of different food to try. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go see what they have out there. Okay, we are back by El Salvador with Santos. And let me tell you something. Remember last year when you watched the We Are Washington Embassy Chef Challenge? Who was the winner? That's right, El Salvador. They're competing again this year. I want to see what they're serving up, so can you let us know what you guys are making today? So today I create something uh, that we use a lot in El Salvador, but uh, I, I just kind of like elevated to a different level. So I did shredded yuca, and then I wrap it with a uh, corbina, and I serve it with a little uh, cream of Rocco, and a little stew made with a chote, and I also serve a little escabeche in it. There is a competitive side to this, so when you're thinking about that, when you're, you're preparing the food, you know, what's your approach? They can do whatever they want, but I, I focus on three things. I like flavor, I like presentation, and I, uh, in this case, I want to make sure that I'm representing El Salvador. So tell me what you wanted to prepare for this event. Well, today what we prepared is a dish called Soup Shumu. And it's a dish that we usually have on the 1st of January to celebrate our Independence Day. But today I put a bit, little bit of a twist on it, so we did a surf and surf version. And with the soup, it's almost like you're kind of adding just everything that people love. It's like put some lobster in there, right. some, some beef, a lot of flavor. Exactly. Is that the idea, crowd pleaser? Right, that was, that was the idea. What are we serving here today? What do you have for everybody to try out? So for tonight I'll be serving some Belgian chocolate. Um, it's going to be dark chocolate with passion fruit, uh, white chocolate with basil, and milk chocolate with berries. So there is plenty of choice. We're pairing it with a Belgian beer that is actually a pretty famous beer. It has been in the market since the 16, 1600s, so it's a pretty old brewery. Beer and chocolate, I don't think we can go wrong, right? I was just going to say, beer and chocolate, it sounds like you're trying to hit all the high notes for everybody. Food is awesome, the entertainment is awesome, the drinks are even more awesome. It's definitely Ghana. Definitely Ghana. They had a nice uh, rack of a chop, a uh, lamb chop, rack of lamb. It was very good. My favorite thing so far is the ceviche from Peru. Amazing. So far, El Salvador is definitely number one right now. The crispy fish and the sauce on top of it's been perfect. But I'm going to make sure I taste all of them. But uh, I'm thankful that I'm not a judge because it's always so difficult to pick just one. I'll tell you what, we've tried a lot of different food, a lot of really good food. Belgium is going to be hard to beat. So we're preparing our, our flag dish from Peru, which is the ceviche. It's what fishermen started making when, they, when we would go fishing. The easiest way to, to, to make a, a raw fish taste delicious, which is we cut the pieces of corvina, fresh corvina, in little small cubes and then we season it with lime juice. And you have a good luck charm here. We have Lolita here. We brought, a, we brought our flag animal from Peru as well. We stopped by the Cameroon table. I'm hanging out with executive chef Flora right now. I wanted to know what you guys had you were serving to everybody. We have the corn made of, uh, it's called cocky corn. It's a sweet corn, fresh sweet corn uh, made with spinach and a little bit of salt and palm oil. I wrap them and then you steam them. It's very, very nice. It's one of the main food we have in Cameroon. I prepared the milk rice and chicken curry and onion sambal and sago drink. Sri Lanka, we have the best spices in the South Asian subcontinent. We need to pass the message to the people in America. Wow, okay, that was a lot of food. The scores are in, we've tallied all the results. We're gonna bring you the top four from the results that we picked. And it starts off with our last runners up. We had a tie for this position, and that would be Haiti. And it would also be El Salvador, our winner from last year. They ranked, but they didn't come in first this year. So tell me, what did you like about Haiti? Well, Haiti was really interesting because they took a traditional pumpkin soup. They call it 
La Revolution. It was excellent, very flavorful. I enjoyed theirs as well. El Salvador, El Salvador was great again. We gave them the four for presentation, four for taste. That's a pair of fours. Total exactly. is eight. They also scored eight, Haiti did. After that, our first runner up, Sri Lanka scoring Sri Lanka, yeah. a four for presentation and a five for taste. So tell me what you liked about Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka went with a curry chicken. I have to say I'm a little biased because I do love curry chicken, but they were very um, interested in showcasing all the amazing spices in Sri Lanka. So it was a very flavorful dish. It was a total success. It left an impression. It, it certainly it did. did. Which means our winner with the top spot, a little bit unorthodox, and this might have been what yeah. had them win the entire thing, was Belgium. Our winner, Belgium, and you know, one of the things that we pointed out was that you guys had a very unique presentation, and you went for dessert, and it tasted great, and that's really what did it for our show. So, congratulations, we have a prize. This is for you. Excellent. Wear it in good health. <laughs> and congratulations. Make sure you're in the know. Watch We Are Washington, Mondays at 6.30 p.m. on DCN.